Rui Lopez opening, Berlin, El Hermit, Berlin Wall Defense, 9.NC3K810.H3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. d4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nd6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Bx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double the c pawns. Dx c6 captures the bishop, opens up the d-file and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn, attacks the knight on d6 and controls the f6 square. Nf5 moves the knight to an active square where it controls d4. Qx d8 plus trades queens and stops black from castling. Kx d8 recaptures the queen. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. k8 moves the king away from the open d-file. h3 controls the g4 square and prepares a potential g4 pawn push. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. This defends the attacked bishop. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. This allows the opponent to capture the checking rook. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This poses a fork piece threat. 
it is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. It is quite good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This protects the attacked pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win material. It is a great move. This prevents the adversary from gaining an advantage. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It is ideal. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.